What's been up guys, it's Uxra. So I got few requests about custom resource pack and I decided to take some time and look for some great uh, application to create custom texture packs of course and I found this resource pack workbench website, I mean application, not really website, where you can create custom Minecraft um, texture pack or resource pack. So what you need to do is go to this website which will be added in the description below this video and simply hit download button which is right here under get resource pack workbench and it will take you to this page where you can simply download the latest version of application so when you got it you can simply uh, drag and drop it to your desktop and run it so when it runs it will show you this this is for first time of course and you can choose which version you want to use for your resource pack uh, as you can see I only got three of them and that's because I only download 1.9, 1.9 Forge and 1.9.4 so if you want other version you can just go to your launcher run 1.9.2 I don't know two, let's say and you'll see your new version in here so yeah this also works with crack launcher if someone is wondering because I get a lot of comments like that so yeah when you got it and you choose your version simply hit OK and as you can see it will start to loading all files or searching for them or whatever it's really not important and when it got it it will just show you this message and you need to hit OK so after that you will see this empty project and what you need to do is go to project create a new project and in this project uh, area you can select blank project or project from resource pack so if you want to edit someone else's resource pack you can do it here just open it here and do whatever you want to do but make sure to look if there's some copyright material and stuff like that but if you want to start from scratch go to blank project and just name it like I don't know let's say Fuchs row UX2 or whatever and create so when you hit create it will load all needed files and you can basically edit all of them so these are pretty much um, I guess um, scripts of um, different blocks but what you really need is textures which are at the last area and yeah you got also text and credits and stuff like that um, you can also change probably translations yes um, I guess also fonts can be changed somewhere here in here but I won't really deal with that so let's just go to blocks <coughs> sorry for that blocks and let's go to wood and in here I see bookshelf so I can simply go and click on it and after it got selected go to edit and hit OK so for me as I'm using GIMP as my default application it can't open it for some reason so just hit OK and it will open it in paint so you can now um, edit different items from this uh, bookshelf or whatever you block you selected and yeah whatever you do it will appear in game so just do some qu quick editing this bookshelf it won't be pretty so don't judge me uh, but yeah just to show you how it can look like this will be really ugly um, let's just take some blue and I'm really bad at paint if I could use GIMP it would be so much easier because I could really create a new shelf but with paint you can't really do much because you can't really um, maximize this bookshelf to see all the details I mean pixels not really details and after you edit it go to save um, simply up here it's save or you can hit save here and close the application so as you can see it didn't change what you need to do is click on next one and click 
on the previous one and you will see it's different. So yeah, you also got other things, uh, textures, basically everything is in here, you just need to look for it. Um, so yeah, you can also edit rails I guess, uh, but let's look for something, nope, that's not what I'm looking for, wood um, locks. Yep, that's what I'm looking for. So, um, where's the default lock? Here it is. So, let's just edit this one and then we will save it. So, when you got it, you can just do whatever you really want. It's a bloody tree. And let's save it. And here it is. So, after you're done editing your textures, and probably if you want to make something good. Um, it will take weeks before you do it and you will also need other things like tools and stuff like that. So when you got it you can also change this back icon. Um, just to show you quickly, not really interesting in editing anything. But when you got it you can just go with it and yeah that's it. But when you're done go to project and hit explore back to and let's go with de desktop and hit export. So when you see success, successful, hit OK, close, close the application, yes, whatever. And we got it. So now go to options, resource pack, open resource pack folder. And you can simply drag and drop it in here. So here we go. Let's go back inside and here it is just to show you it's working. So now let's go to Minecraft um, and yeah I was playing with it before and here it is. So you can see the bookshelf and it looks pretty ugly so take some time to finish them so it will look nice. And let's try to find my other texture. Um, nope. I think it was that tree, but it's not really different for some reason. So yeah, let's look for it in here. Um, yep, here it is. Dark Oak. So if we place it, you can see it's working and you can really do stuff. But if you're planning to edit stuff like that make sure it fits together because making textures like that that doesn't fit together it's kind of stupid I guess and it will look ugly as this one but this is just to show you that it's working so that's it if you have any questions um, or like um, requests for videos feel free to comment below and I'll try to record them or answer your questions. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, leave a like, even subscribe if you want to and see you in next video.